This is the Nest smoke detector. It's a Wi-Fi smoke detector. What does that mean? It means that there are batteries in here or you can wire it to your wall and it talks to other smoke detectors or to a Nest thermostat over your home Wi-Fi. It has six AA batteries in there, lithium batteries, that uh, let it run Wi-Fi for a long period of time and work over your home network. Now, why on earth would you want a Wi-Fi smoke detector? Well, Nest's argument is that with a Wi-Fi smoke detector, you can learn both from an app that works with this or from other smoke detectors in your house what's going on in different parts of your house. So this smoke detector here is sort of a smoke detector rethought. It's square, not round. I was surprised to see that it was square and not round like the Nest thermostat. Um, but Nest really wants to make it look different. It will tell you when there's a problem before the signal needs to go off, before that blaring alarm that a smoke detector has needs to go off. Heads up, there's smoke in the dining room. It has a couple of other neat features. It, will, it actually has a glowing light that will light the path when you walk underneath it, when it senses motion. And it will also work with the Nest thermostat. Uh, which is interesting. Right now, one of the challenges with the Nest thermostat is that if you are in another room for a very long time, it might think that you're not in your house and then lower the temperature in the house to save energy. Um, if you have both that thermostat and Nest smoke detectors, that smoke detector in your bedroom will tell the thermostat that you're actually still home and it will stay on. So when you think about this, it's really an interesting beachhead into having sensors all over your house that interact with each other and um, can sort of collaborate. So the Nest is not cheap. It is going to cost $129 per unit. And really, you'll need a few units to take advantage of how these work. For a three bedroom house, you're probably gonna need four or five to be above every bedroom door and in cooking areas and other places where you, there may be a smoke or carbon monoxide, which this also tests for. The idea is that with that investment, you also get this sort of collaboration between the smoke detectors. So the smoke detector can tell you when there is smoke in a different room. You may be in the den, and the smoke detector near the den tells you that there's smoke in the kitchen. You can go to the kitchen and um, wave at the smoke detector to silence it. It's the first smoke detector with an app, and it will work with the Nest app. The new apps will come sometime in late October. So that means if you already have a Nest thermostat, your software will be updated automatically and will be able to work with this. Um, and if you don't, you'll be getting that new 4.0 software running on your phone or your tablet so that you can control these remotely. New apps for this are going to be available in late October, and the devices themselves will come onto the market sometime in November. I'm Lindsay Turin, time for CNET Reviews, and look for our full review of this product sometime in the coming weeks.